is up you guys, my name is Selena and today's gonna be a new tutorial on how to do this green screen paper transition effect. I saw this from Nainoa Langer and Amur Zakaria, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. Their collab on Instagram and I thought it was a really cool effect and some of you guys asked how to do it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys and it's super easy and simple. All you're gonna need is a green paper. And actually there's another way you can do it. You can actually mask out a paper and that's probably the way that they did it. But I thought this would be a lot easier to just use a green screen paper. So you're gonna need this and you're also gonna need a GoPro if you want to have your, both of your hands in it. So you can have a POV effect. So actually to have that POV effect, all I did was actually get my GoPro and put it in my mouth. So yeah, you know, you may look stupid and all, but it works really well. I always use my GoPro in my mouth for POV effects. But if you don't have a GoPro, you can obviously just use your camera uh, and not have a POV effect. So yeah, let's just get started with the tutorial. Okay, let's go to Premiere Pro. So I have my clip right here. I have the GoPro in my mouth, my two hands holding the paper. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just bring it to the third video line. Now let's go to effects and we're gonna search up ultra key and this will be under keying okay so first you're just gonna go to the key color and then you're gonna click that little dropper and then press the green paper and then it'll choose the green color okay now before we start messing around with the settings let's bring a clip under the green paper GoPro clip so that we can see how the keying will look Okay, now you're going to change the highlight to 0, and then we're going to change the pedestal to 100 and the tolerance to 100. Okay, so now that looks pretty good. So now we can bring in our second clip, and we'll bring it in right after where I snap at the picture. So when I flick it, it turns into the waterfall clip, and that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to unlink all the audio footages because it's kind of getting in the way of my workflow. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, so now I'll just extend my waterfall clip a little bit. Okay, now in Nainoa's video, when he goes into the water, it starts to have like a water drip effect on the clip. So I kind of want to replicate that just a little bit, but it's not super noticeable anyways in his clip. So we're going to just make it look as if there's a little bit of an effect. So I found this on YouTube, I'll link the video in the description, but I found this raindrop on a window effect and it could work pretty well, so let's try use this to create a water drip effect. Okay, so first I need to just scale this up a bit because it's not matching the same sequence settings. Okay, now because this is on a green screen, we can just copy and paste our settings, our ultra crease settings that were on the GoPro clip and then paste it on this raindrop clip. Okay, so I'm just going to Command-C on the GoPro clip, and then Command-V on the Raindrop clip. So now it's properly keyed out. And then I'm just going to start it when the paper hits the water. And I can just play around with these settings. I'll just adjust the scale and opacity a little bit more. Just do it to what you think will look good. But I'm going to actually make some opacity keyframes. So a little bit after the clip starts, I'm going to make the opacity at 63%, and then at the beginning, I'll keep it at zero. So it slowly blends into the raindrops. So actually, my paper didn't actually touch the water, but for your clip, you're probably going to want to do that. I just didn't do it because I didn't know how many takes I would have to do for this tutorial. But if you make the paper touch the water, it'll create a ripple in the water, and it'll create a more realistic effect, I think. But yeah, I didn't do that in this specific clip. Okay, so now we kind of have that green screen looking effect. Now I have a tutorial on the smooth zoom transition, so I'll link it in the description, but I'll just kind of go over the same steps in this tutorial. So we're going to want to zoom in to the paper so that it goes into this waterfall clip. So I'm just going to extend my waterfall clip out a little bit more, and then we're going to go ahead and create a new adjustment layer and put it on the fourth video line. And then we're going to go to effects and we're going to search a smooth zoom transition and so you can download the presets in the description uh, it's on my selfie page and so we're gonna put the zoom effect onto the adjustment layer and then we're gonna drag the keyframe so that it goes and matches where our bar is which is when the two clips meet so we're gonna want it right in the middle okay so now you can see the smooth zoom effect but what we're gonna need to do is put the six screens effect on the second part of the waterfall clip so we're gonna cut it to where the adjustment layer ends and then where the transition actually zooms in 
and then we're gonna put the six screens effect on that cut clip so yeah that's kind of the whole effect and uh yeah you can definitely use the green screen paper in a bunch of different projects so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys